Hi YouTube, it's Mike with HHO Connection. Today I want to talk to you about foam. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people out there, myself included, who run dry cells have been having issues with foam. Uh, you get foam out of the cell, it goes into the line, goes into your reservoir. Foam gets all over the top of your reservoir. Even I've even seen foam coming out of the reservoir and into the line out. Um, first thing I want to show you that I, that I found to deal with it, I went to the swimming pool supply store and bought this stuff. It's foam disperser. It's supposed to take care of foam in a hot tub. I figured if it could take care of foam in a hot tub, why not inside a warm reservoir? And so what I did was when I first mixed my distilled water with my electrolyte, I used sodium hydroxide. Mixed it up real good, um, squirt a little bit of this in, in with the, the water and the, and the catalyst, mixed that up real good, and then poured it inside my reservoir and let it go into the cell. And these are the results. Um, I still get I'm still getting foam out of the cell. We'll deal with that in a second. But as far as the reservoir itself, once the foam hits the reservoir, it's pretty much gone. I've got no foam collecting on the top whatsoever. I've got no foam going out whatsoever. Uh, you will notice that there's a cloudiness to the water. That's just because of the foam that's coming in already. Let me jump on the camera. I'll zoom in and, uh, and show you a little, a little closer up uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on the reservoir first. Now, if you look there, you notice, again, the water's cloudy because of the foam that's coming in right there. And by the way, this is only at about, I'm going to say, 8 or 9 amps, running about 10 and a half volts. This is just powered off my El Cheapo trickle charger, 6 amp trickle charger. So the foam gets a lot worse when I pump more amps into it. When I go 20 or 30 amps, yeah, you see a lot of foam. But once it hits, again, once it hits the reservoir, it's pretty much gone. Um, I'll follow the line back. Again, you can see the foam. Everybody's used to. And the foam coming out of the cell. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sold on this foam disperser. I haven't noticed any drop off in the, in the amount of gas coming out. You might try it again. I encourage somebody else, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Okay, I'm going to zoom out now. We're going to talk about the, how to handle the foam that's coming out of the cell itself. This is something I actually stumbled onto just yesterday, and I'm, I'm anxious for other people to try it. And tell me if you think I'm crazy. Okay, let me jump back in here. Now, <laughs> this is going to seem too simple. All I did was lower the reservoir. I need to put this little block under here to get it to about the right height. And what I'm finding is, Again, tell me if I'm crazy. The line going into the reservoir, if that is either at least the same height or maybe even a little bit lower on this block, the line going into my reservoir is just a tiny bit lower than the line coming out of the cell. And I think that the line coming out of your reservoir feeding the cell needs to be just a, still a tiny bit higher than the line going in. I think if that were even a little bit higher, maybe raise this line out level to around here, I might even get a little better feed going in. But now what you, what you notice happening right now um, is that the gas is kind of doesn't just can't, can't decide which way it wants to flow here because the levels are resetting themselves. But in a second here, there it goes. You'll see now I got the bubbles coming back from the cell into here and the flow is starting to go back into the dry cell out of the reservoir. But all the foam is gone now. I got no foam in that line whatsoever. And the cloudiness is already starting to clear up right here. I'm going to jump back on the camera and zoom in tight, follow the line again. You can see there is no foam in there whatsoever now. One second. Okay, again, look at the reservoir. And you can see there's like no cloudiness to that water. And the longer I leave it on, the clearer it gets. I'll follow the line back. And you can see the bubbles going in. There's no foam. I'm not seeing any anyway. And the cell, there is still, you can, I don't know if you can see the bubbles here. The water is still flowing in and out. I mean, you do, you do see it go in and come out a little bit and then go in more. So I'll try to chase that line back for you. 
seems like the closer to the reservoir you are, that you can see the bubbles going back into the reservoir, but it is flowing into the cell. Again, I just stumbled onto this yesterday, so I haven't left it on for a long period of time. I don't know how much, if it's going to cause the cell to heat up anymore or not. I'm guessing probably not. I think there's enough flow there to keep the cell doing just fine. So that's it. Everybody do me a favor. Try it yourself. Try lowering that reservoir. Get the line in to the reservoir just a tiny bit lower or no more than the same level. You know what? Let me show you one more thing real quick so you can see I'm not kidding. I'm going to raise that reservoir. And as soon as I raise that reservoir up, give it a few seconds, you'll see that foam come right back. Watch this. And it seems like the higher I raise it, the more foam I get. Give it a second. And there you go. I don't know if you can see that right there. Matter of fact, I'll just put it up on here and jump back on the camera. And the foam is back. All right, YouTube, there you go. Give it a try, lower those reservoirs, tell me if I'm crazy, tell me if it doesn't help the foam issue. In the meantime, again, if you wanna buy a dry cell, HHO Connection, I have EBN dry cells. Thanks, YouTube.